Hi everybody, uh, I am Dr. Mustafa, Consultant Surgical Gastroenterologist and Laparoscopic Surgeon at Care High Tech, uh, Kachimoli. Uh, today I will be speaking to you uh, brief regarding gallbladder stones. Uh, the most common questions what uh, we get usually from the side of the patients I will be discussing or I will be just briefly discussing with you. Gallbladder stones, the most common reason why they form are the excess of energy or cholesterol in the body. Mm, in, we see gallbladder stones more commonly in females at the time of pregnancy. The reason is at the time of pregnancy the function of the gallbladder is slightly diminished and added to it intake of lot of fats and carbohydrates and uh, lot of uh, heavy diet and sedentary lifestyle. Because of that gallbladder stones form very commonly at the time of pregnancy. Even in those patients who are obese and who are having a lot of sedentary lifestyle and taking heavy high energy foods, there is a tendency to form gallbladder stones. Not in every person who take these diet, gallbladder stones will form. The reason is gallbladder and the liver is still capable of keeping the high energy in a digested form. In those patients in whom gallbladder is not properly functioning or doing these things, in them stones will form. Now coming on to the symptoms or like what are the common symptoms. Some patients will not have any symptoms, means no pain or no indigestion. So in those patients, surgery is not required. In those patients in whom the gallbladder stones result in pain, pain in the abdomen or indigestion, in those patients only surgery is required. Surgery, what we usually do in patients uh, is laparoscopic cholecystectomy. That means that gallbladder is removed through laparoscopy with, without much cutting or without an open surgery. With a small hole, we will put the camera and remove the gallbladder. Uh, the, the another question what we get is like whether gallbladder stones are dissolvable uh, with alternative therapy. We usually don't see any patient responding to alternative therapy and the gallbladder stones remain the same because they are very hard in nature, they need to be removed. Then the next common question is why is gallbladder removed? Why, why is gallbladder removed along with the stones? Why only stones are not removed? The reason is as I told you earlier, the difference between kidney stone and gallbladder stones is that gallbladder, it is the gallbladder which is responsible, non proper, not proper functioning is responsible for the formation of the stones. Unlike kidney stones where the lack of proper diet or lack of proper intake of water will result in the formation of stones. So we remove only the stones, not the kidney because kidney is functioning properly. Whereas in gallbladder stones, the gallbladder itself will not function properly. That is the reason stones form in the first place. That is the reason if we, even if you remove the stone, again the stone can form. That is one reason and we cannot open the gallbladder and remove the stone and then close the gallbladder because the reason is there is a high chance that it can leak and the, usually bile is present in the gallbladder. So once bile leaks from the gallbladder, it might, it might cause serious issues. That is the reason we remove stones along with the gallbladder. Now removal of the gallbladder will not entail any lack of proper function in the body. There will be no indigestion once we remove it. There will be no indigestion of particular substances. Patients usually have this misconception that once we remove the gallbladder, you will not digest these particular foods. Nothing happens of that sort because gallbladder's function in the body is very minimal. And added to that, we are not removing a gallbladder which is normal, which is not having stones. We are removing a gallbladder which has resulted in the formation of the stones. That is the reason. And the advantages of laparoscopic surgery is you will not have pain nor indigestion and you will have a very healthy lifestyle and you can go back to work very early. Within one or two days, you can go back to work. That is the advantage of laparoscopic cholecystectomy and it doesn't entail in loss of some function. The other thing is we can we leave that stones behind. We cannot because it might cause you serious complications like the stone might block the gallbladder, it might result in the rupture of gallbladder or it might slip down and block the way which is coming from the liver of the pancreas and cause pancreatitis or liver damage. Thank you.